Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I took images like this from my supplier. It can be any type of images, just very plain Jane normal images and turn them into images like this of the product actually being used. They're super high quality, like insanely high quality and very, very Instagram worthy. No matter what your product is, you'll see all of these beautiful images being created and then not just that, not only did I go, go ahead and create the images, I also went ahead and turned that entire image gallery into an amazing looking video ad for this particular product with all of these images being animated and turned into a literal video ad. And all of this, by the way, is using ChatGBT. All right, so without further ado, let me show you how you can take any image from your supplier basic images, turn them into video ads, and not just that, have so many assets when you're done finishing this workflow, all right? So let's get into it. All right, guys, so to execute this workflow, you're gonna need three AI employees, okay? Now, all these AI employees work off of ChatGBT, and I know for a lot of us, the word AI employee is a little bit scary. You know, um, some of us that are coming into this world understand your understanding of AI is ChatGPT. And I'll be honest with you guys, I'm a real world business owner. I'm a full-time e-commerce business owner and I have a marketing agency that only deals with e-commerce. That is my extent, that is what I do every single day. And AI is evolving so rapidly that it's very, very difficult to keep up to date. So what I try to do is I try to give people AI for their business that's easy to use and that's easy for anybody to understand, okay? My benchmark is actually my parents. Like if I, if this is something I could explain to my parents, I think anybody would get it, okay? So as long as you have ChatGPT, you'll be able to create beautiful images like this and then go ahead and turn that into a video ad, okay? So we're gonna need three AI employees. We're gonna need one branding, one graphic design, and one animator. What you basically do to create a new chat in ChatGPT, just go to chatgpt.com and then go ahead and go ahead and open up a new chat with within ChatGPT. And then when you paste in my master prompt, what's gonna end up happening is ChatGPT will start responding to you the way an AI employee will. Okay, there's a specific prompt you have to use. And when you have the my when you have three prompts from me, you will have a branding employee, a graphic design employee, and an animator. And these are the three employees you're gonna need to be able to turn any any image, and these are very, very basic images, into beautiful Instagram-worthy images, right? And not just that, and these are ads as well, not just that, you can go ahead and turn them into, uh, where is the video ad? Uh, right here. And you can go ahead and turn this into a beautiful video ad. Okay, it's right here. So um, let's go through this workflow step by step. And then if you guys are following me, you'll be able to execute it for any product that you wish. Now, let's go into why do you need three AI employees, okay? So the reason guys, you need three AI employees, I'm just gonna open up the branding one. The, the reason you need three AI employees guys is because you need one person to think up what the image is and not just think up what the image is, to model an already existing brand, right? Because uh, why do a lot of people get low quality images? Well, a lot of people get low quality images because they're not really modeling anything. They're just like, hey, ChatGPT, can you come up with something for me? And sometimes the responses are great and sometimes the responses aren't great. The reason I'm able to get amazing responses each time is because I've actually gone one step ahead and I've created someone, my branding AI employee, that actually goes ahead and models really, really good brands. So this this screenshot I've just taken off this Instagram page, okay? Now this Instagram page is 1.2 million followers. It's a beauty Instagram page. I don't even know what this brand is. I just typed into ChatGPT, give me some really good aesthetic looking Instagram pages. By the way, to talk to me, Instagram's the best place. If you have any questions, if you have any concerns, if you wanna hit me up, Instagram's the best place. Link is in the description because I'm very, very active on Instagram. Anyway, so I just looked, I just asked ChatGPT, hey, can you find a, a nice aesthetic looking page? It did, and I really like this aesthetic. And I was like, hey man, I want my brand to have the same aesthetic. So what does this uh, branding guy do? Well, this branding guy, once you paste in my master prompt, I'll tell you where to get it towards the end of the video, but once you paste in my master prompt, what ends up happening is the branding guy will actually 
help you create images like this, okay? It will copy the brand and the aesthetic feel and look and feel of any brand that you want. It could be anything. You could copy Apple, AG1, Samsung, or you could copy a PlayStation, whatever brand that you want to copy on Instagram, you will have very, very similar looking images, okay? So the branding guy comes up with what the image should look like. Then you have a graphic designer, all right, that will come up with the actual image. And then you have an animator that will actually go ahead and help you animate the images. So it's a three-step workflow. Now, when I started using ChatGPT like this, when I started not keeping everything in one chat, and when I started dedicating each new chat as for a separate function, that's when I started to see results soar. Because what most people do with ChatGPT is they keep all their questions in one chat and they think that that's the best way to use it. Actually, that's not the best way to use it. What you want is you want ChatGPT to, in one chat, act like one person, in another chat, act like another person, in another chat, act like another person. And we want it specialized so the output that you're getting is super high quality. Okay, so now let's go to the first step. The first step is get my prompts and have your branding, animation, and graphic designer ready. Okay, all three employees will work together and I'll show you why, okay? Now my branding prompt is in. I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll down a little bit, okay? And what my branding guy wants to know, okay? This is the first guy we're working with, right? So I'll go ahead and put these other two somewhere else. So the first guy we're working with, the branding guy, okay? Now, once you put the prompt in, it's gonna ask, hey, can you upload the reference images? Because this branding guy, his whole role is to figure out the aesthetic look and feel of this image. So then I went ahead and I just honestly screenshotted this from Instagram. I just did a screen grab here of these six images because it was perfectly the aesthetic I wanted to go for, summer beach vibes. So then I put that in here, okay? And boom, I it went ahead and it understood the reference images. Then it's asking me, can you describe the product you're creating images for? And then I just went to my supplier. And by the way, it doesn't have to be an Amazon supplier. It can actually be any supplier you wish. And I just grabbed three images and I gave it to him, okay? I said, hey, these are the three images and this is some things that you need to know about the product. Now, notice something. Once I put the master prompt in that turns ChatGPT into an AI employee, it will just ask me questions and wait for my responses because the prompt has everything you need to train the chat GPT to do what's next, okay? So that's why I call it an AI employee. It's because as long as you answer its questions well, it's going to give you perfect responses. And you don't have to be like, oh, why haven't you thought about this? Why haven't you thought about this? This, this person is a seven-figure branding expert, this AI employee. So as long as you answer its questions, you're going to get amazing looking and feeling images, okay? So again, perfect, I'm ready. Please upload your reference image. Upload the reference image. Next, it's ask us about the product. I've, 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 I've put in product images and text. And then finally, it's saying, hey, why do you need these AI images? I said, dude, I want pictures that make my Instagram feed look aesthetic, beautiful, warm, and inviting. Like, that's what I want. And then it's like, perfect. It's understood who I'm modeling, what my product is, and what I'm looking for. And because it has all of this, the first thing it's going to develop for me is a brand style summary. So what it's going, it's what it's gone ahead and done, it's understood this entire brand, like the look, the feel, the colors, the tone, it's understood all of that. And it's gone ahead and generated a brand st summary with the colors, lighting, background, subject, shadows, everything ready. Okay. Then it's gone ahead and developed, uh, once I approve it, it always asks for my approval, right? It doesn't ask me, hey, what should I do next? It knows what to do. It's just like, hey, either approve or give me changes. And then I said, okay, I approve it. And then finally, it's gonna give me a seven image shot plan. Now, what's a seven image shot plan? It's the seven images that will perfectly give me what I'm looking for, for my product. So I'm looking for a really good Instagram images, of this product and it, it's gonna give me seven images that it thinks will be perfect for that. So it's giving me a sun-kissed close-up, it's giving me a beach flat lay, a mirror glow, a before bed, a flat lay, an under the umbrella, it's giving me all these images. And then once I approve it, what it gives me is detailed instructions of how to create these images, okay? And at this point, all of the work of the branding employee is done. The only thing I want this person to figure out is what to make. I don't want him to actually make it because that's when my second AI employee comes into play. My second AI employee is my graphic designer. 
Okay, now over here, I go ahead, I enter in the master prompt for the graphic designer. Uh, I've already entered it in, so it's ready for me to go. And then it's gone ahead and look at what it does. It says, hey, I'm your graphic designer and let's begin with step one. I want your brand's visual identity. Okay, I said, okay, let's do this by, one by one. It asked me for the brand's visual identity. I've gone ahead and I went here to where the gra branding person has written the entire identity for me, right? I've taken this, I've copied it, okay? And I've pasted it in here. And now my graphic designer, his only job is to create the images. It's understood the aesthetic we're going for, the sun drenched, lighting, mood, composition, background. It's understood everything we're going for. Perfect. Then it's like, hey, can you upload some reference images? Like what, like what do you, like I understand text wise what you're going for, but I also wanna know because it's a graphic designer, visually, like if you can give me like a mood board or like some reference images that I can go after. I, perfect, I have the reference images, I uploaded it. Then it asks me, fine, final step, I just wanna understand what your product is before I can start making some images. I've given it the product images and I've given it some description. Now it's ready. Now it's saying, hey, can you send in your image prompts or your image instructions? Now I'm ready to create the images, I just need the instructions. Well, where are the instructions? My branding guys are already figured out six perfect instructions that I need to give it to him. So I will go one at a time. I will copy instruction number one from here or prompt number one. I'll paste it in here. And what I always do when I, uh, when I give it an instruction is I also give it an image that is close to what I'm trying to create. I like to call these reference images. Okay, so I give it a reference image plus an instruction so it knows that it needs to do this to this image and boom, it's giving me this. And then I do it again, number two, boom. Then again, number three, boom. Then again, number four, boom. And just like that, I've created all of these beautiful images. Not just that, once I had these seven images done, I said, hey, I want more, but this time I just want it to be all models because I want more actual people using it. It again came up with another shot plan. I approved it. It came up with another instructions, set of instructions and look at, look, I mean, look at this man, hyper real. You know, my test for AI is can my mom tell it apart? Because honestly, guys, the people that we're marketing to, they're not as aware of AI as we are, okay? They, I mean, if I showed this picture to my mom or my dad or my sister or someone and be like, hey, can you tell if it's AI? Like, they'd be like, no, it, it passes. I can't, it's not overly AI. And I feel like this, I mean, this image really looks like it was shot on an iPhone. So I just, that's my benchmark, guys. That's my benchmark, honestly. So I have, all, and you can do much more. Like you can take this, upscale the image, add more realism, but why? We're doing it for e -com, simple products. Let's keep it simple. Let's run this as is. Okay, now I have all my images. Now the final step, after you've gone through this workflow, what are you left with? Well, you're left with a, a set of amazing images that you can use for anything, right? Uh, so all of these are my chat GPT images. Now I can use this for anything, right? I can use this for social media. I can use this for whatever I want. Like all these images are beautiful and ready for me to use. But what if we want to turn these images into a video ad? Now, well, the next step is that's where our third and final AI employee comes into place. I call this our animator, okay? Now, what we do with the animator is first, uh, we're going to go ahead and enter in the master animation prompt, okay? Once we enter in this prompt, what ends up happening is the animator, he's very simple. All he needs is, can if you upload me an image, I'll send you the perfect prompt that will animate it, okay? And that's what I did. I went ahead, I uploaded all these images, and then I have these animation prompts. Now, this is where I will lose some people, but don't worry, animating an image is very easy. You can use, uh, basically, what you want to do is take this image, give it to an animator with this prompt, and it will turn the image into a video. Now you can use anything, you can use Sora, you can use uh, Google VO, you can use a bunch. My tool of choice is, and sort of always will be, I think, topview.ai. Okay, I love these guys, I support them. I wish I could be part of this company more because I use it, I, I heavily overuse it, okay? so. All I do is go to topview.ai, I go to image text to video, and then I upload the image and I upload. So I just click here to upload, right? So I go ahead, I upload the image, okay? And then I copy the, I copy what the animator gave me for this. So where's the animator? 
here, right? So I copy what the animator gave me for the image, right? I'll copy it right here. So which image have I taken? Let's go back. It's this one, right? So let's go to the animator and see which was the prompt for this image. I'm just gonna upload this one. So I'm gonna upload this image because I know where the prompt is. Uh, hold on, this one, okay. I upload this image. I find the animation prompt for it, great. I put it in and I hit generate, okay? I, I You can do a 10 second or a five second and you hit generate and it goes ahead and starts animating everything. Look at how beautiful it's animated. Then you can download all of your animations, okay? Right here, right? All of these videos, you can download all of these animations, right? And then you can put it together inside a video ad. You just stitch it together and you have a video ad or you can make it GIFs or you can make it Instagram reels, whatever you want. It can do um, whatever orientation, it can do whatever you want, okay? And that's it, that's how easy it is. That's how you use AI employees to go ahead and create beautiful images and videos for your e-commerce products, taking basic supplier images and turning them into beautifully branded seven-figure images and videos, okay? All with the help of AI employees. Now, the, the best question that will come is, Ali, where are these AI employees? How can I find them? How, I mean, they're simple. Just put in the the prompt and it will just tell you what to do next. Uh, well, for that, it's the first link in the description. Go ahead, uh, download the AI employees and go ahead and kill it like I so basically I make AI employees for e-com that my team uses my clients use and I'm making it available to everybody there's a there's a lot more AI employees in development this is my by far my favorite one but there are a lot more that are coming uh, so again go ahead click the link in bio get it because the quality of what you get as an output is just fascinating and i like to make videos like this about these ai employees because i'm continuously testing the limits of what i can do right and this getting an image like this that looks like a freaking magazine cover like or getting an image like this that's so hyper realistic look at the blemishes on this person it's insane i always want to see what chat gpt can do and chat gpt's image generation is getting absolutely insane okay so again link to the ai employees is down below link to topview.ai is down below as well guys i love them use them their shit is good okay um and finally guys that's about it i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video one more quick update guys i'm working on a five day e-com boot camp where if you come join the boot camp in five days you will have an insane business that's built at the end of the five days and we'll do it together that's in production right now i'll hopefully i'll give you guys some updates about that too um and that's it guys i think uh, i think that's all i wanted to throw it out there uh, guys if you want to chat with me if you have any questions about anything go ahead and hit me up on instagram it is daily.ecom okay go ahead hit a follow and dm i reply to most if not all of the dms that come to me as long as you're not pitching me like like, hey, I'll do this work for you. You're going to get a reply if it's a serious e-com question, okay? With that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate each and every one of you. Start using these AI employees. Make your life easy. And give me feedback on what you end up creating, all right? Thank you, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.